your travel tips and your guide to beautiful Greece. Come join us on this escorted tour as we visit some classical historical sites of Greece, including the Acropolis of Athens, Nafplio, Olympia, Delphi, and Meteora. Let's go check them out. Our journey starts in the heart of Athens at the five-star Amalia Hotel with luxurious rooms and one of the top breakfasts around. Start your day early and wander the nearby Monastiraki and Plata districts for churches, shopping, flea markets, and lots of taverns for an authentic Greek meal fix, especially Greek salad and souvlaki or gyros. The Acropolis of Athens is the most famous defensive settlement built upon an area of elevated ground. Constructed around the 5th century BC, it contains several buildings, most notably the Parthenon, which is regarded as the finest example of Greek architecture. Be sure to take an early morning tour to avoid the heat and unbelievable crowds. The Acropolis Museum opened in 2009 and is the largest modern building erected near an ancient archaeological site. It houses all the artifacts found at the site with an incredible selection of impressive sculptures and transparent floors to view some artifacts. Do your own fun research ahead of time or you may be overwhelmed. Our bus tour continues from Athens as we take a pit stop at the Corinth Canal, passing through the Peloponnese region, on our way to beautiful Nafplio, a walkable seaport town. We stay at the luxurious Grand Bretagne Hotel, located right on the water. Classic decor, an outstanding restaurant with superb breakfast, and spacious rooms with stunning views makes this hotel a real indulgence. Next day, we take an excursion to Palamidi Castle with a thousand-step hike to a fortress located atop a 216-meter hill built by the Venetian occupation around the late 17th century. Lucky for us, the bus got us to the top. The castle commands an expansive view of the Argala Gulf, the town of Nafplio, and the surrounding countryside. We make another pit stop at the famous amphitheater of Epidaurus, then continuing to the site of the first advanced ancient civilization in mainland Greece, the Mycenaeans, spanning the period from 1600 to 1100 BC. Pull out the movie Troy to get your fantastic storytelling fix. Our next stop is the Arty Grand Hotel in Olympia. It's a long drive to here, so enjoy all the amenities, especially the delicious food at the Olympia Archaeological Site restaurant. The town of Olympia is near the UNESCO World Heritage Archaeological Site that was dedicated to Zeus, although the Zeus Temple survives only as a handful of stones. This area is a prime tourist spot and in ancient times brought visitors from all over Greece to participate in the Olympic Games every four years from the 8th to 4th century AD. Our tour guide always impresses with first-class storytelling. The Olympia Archaeological Museum was opened in 1882 and was the first museum in Greece outside of Athens. The collection includes artifacts from prehistory to its time under Roman rule. The museum's bronze collection makes it one of the most important in the world. The guide's stories will leave you in awe at the effort undertaken by archaeologists to unearth and preserve these ancient artifacts. As we journey to our next stop at Delphi, passing from the Peloponnese back onto the mainland, we drive along a beautiful sea route and experience so many magnificent views. The small modern village of Delphi is literally built into the side of a mountain. The hotel rooms and restaurants offer dramatic views of the valley and you will want to enjoy every minute exploring the quaint village. Delphi is an impressive archaeological site embedded into the side of Mount Parnassus. Of particular importance is the Greek god Apollo, who became the presiding deity of Delphi. It is also exalted as the ancient sanctuary for the high priestess Pythia, who served as the oracle of Delphi. The Delphic oracle was the most prestigious and authoritative oracle among the Greeks, and she was considered the most powerful woman of the classical world. The Delphi Museum has copious amounts of artifacts and statues, with the most significant being the huge marble statue of the Sphinx of Naxos. At the start of the Battle of Thermopyle in 480 BC, King Leonidas issued a classical expression of defiance, Mola Labe, look it up. Our bus tour winds down in Kalambaka and the Meteora Monasteries. A luxurious restful stay at the Devani Meteora Hotel and an abundance of delicious food gives us the energy to explore the monasteries. Our day trip to the monasteries reveals many incredible sights. 
In the 16th century, there were 24 monasteries in Meteora, serving monks and nuns following the teachings of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Today, only six remain and the rest are in ruins. As they are positioned on the high cliffs, access to them was originally deliberately difficult, requiring long ladders, ropes and nets to haul up people and goods. They are now accessible by staircases and pathways cut into the rocks. Enjoy these beautiful vistas. Bus tour organizers Theodore and Valerie made our guided excursion informative and exciting. So check out Greece for your next travel adventure.